250 bucks. That's the minimum for a current gen gaming machine. And then you need a display and some games and maybe an off-brand controller for your annoying little brother. Emotional damage. Can I at least skip the gaming headset? What? Okay, all right. Realistically, you guys are right. Many popular and free games are just plain better when you can talk and interact with other players. And realistically, all your friends are hanging out in Discord anyway. So, all right, peer pressure. I'm gonna open my wallet one more time. But what's everybody else buying these days? The G9000 Pro gaming headset from Bangu. I've never even heard of these guys. And at just $22, they're listing console and PC support base surround, whatever that is, a dedicated mute switch. I mean, this thing sounds too good to be true. And it looks pretty bad in the pictures. So just why the family friendly content is everyone buying this gaming headset? Maybe so they can use it for this segue to our sponsor, Asus. The Asus ProArt PA148CTV is a 14-inch portable monitor designed with creators in mind. With a bevy of ports, a physical dial, and industry-leading color accuracy, your creative side is sure to thank you. Check out the PA148CTV down below. From the packaging to the product, the G9000 Pro could be best described as a little basic, with the box containing no protective foam and the headset itself being made of mostly shiny plastic that feels like ABS. The band is flexible though, and feels like it should be pretty durable, and there's even a thin metal strip to reinforce it. The foam is thick enough to keep it suspended off of your brain case, though the material choices are decidedly low end, and that carries over to the ear cups, both for better and for worse. Again, the foam is thick, but it's quite firm, which means it could easily create pressure points, especially because the ear cups themselves can't be repositioned. The cover is a synthetic leather material that, again, feels durable enough, but isn't breathable at all. So if you weren't a sweaty gamer already, you will be now. The biggest issue for me with the ear cups, though, is that they're pretty small. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Basically, these things feel cheap, but Unlike the Tommy Hilfiger headset that we looked at recently, it's because they are cheap. And there's a lot to like about them as well. The band size adjustment mechanism, it's a little bit finicky, but once it's in place, it doesn't slip. It's got a flip down noise isolating microphone, and it features a sleeved cable with a volume control wheel and mic mute toggle that terminates in a single four pole gold plated three and a half millimeter combo jack. This is super handy for console gamers who plug into their controllers. And they also also include a USB port? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's a feature you're never going to use on your console unless you go to the trouble of plugging in a USB extension all the way over next to your TV. Um, so no, that USB port is not because there's an onboard DAC. That is only for the lighting effects. Though that's not a huge disappointment for me. Um, most of the devices that you'd want to use this on still do have three and a half millimeter jacks. And frankly, the DAC that Ben Gu would be including for this price would probably be terrible anyway. My only real issue with the USB port then is that I have to have the stupid plug hanging off it to power lights that I can't even see while I'm wearing them. But hey, they're closer to 20 bucks than they are to 30 right now. So unless they sound like absolute garbage, I can excuse a lot of inconvenience and low end materials. They're actually not crap. They're not that bad. They're not that bad. Like they do suffer in terms of bass response a little bit, but I actually wonder if a big part of that is just that they don't seal that well. Like if you get lucky and you happen to have a head exactly the shape of the product designer, I can already see what you're talking about with the pleather ear cups though. Your ears are gonna get warm if you wear these for a long time. Like this, <laughs> this material is not great. Unlike the GPU plushie from LTTstore.com. Now that's great. Of course, I don't expect you to just take my word for it. So we sent the G9000 Pros over to our lab and it looks like our subjective impressions were actually pretty close. They are objectively not awful. What you're looking at right now is a frequency response curve. 
It represents a headphone's ability to accurately reproduce audio across the entire range of human hearing. This dotted white line is our target frequency response curve. And while it's obvious that they're trying to overcompensate for a lack of sub bass and that our upper mids are getting a little lost, that's probably what makes them sound a little muddy, they're not that far off. I mean, here are some much more expensive and objectively worse ones from Tommy Hilfiger for comparison. And what's really shocking is the mic isn't that terrible either. While there are some complaints in the user reviews about it, we're gonna get to those soon, don't worry, I didn't even notice when Ploof was using this during our weekly writers meeting. I mean, is it gonna make you sound like your favorite podcast host? Well, no, but my goodness, temper your expectations. It sounds okay. So then what's the catch with this thing? Not much, apparently. It's got over 96,000 reviews on Amazon, making it their top seller in the gaming headset category. And a whopping 82% of those reviews are either five or four stars. That is darn impressive. However, some of the low star ratings contained some valid and even concerning feedback that might make you think twice about supporting this company. For starters, we found not one, but two instances of Bengu trying to pay or guilt trip reviewers into upgrading their scores. And wherever you see one or two people with the integrity to refuse an offer like this, there are almost certainly many others who took the bribe. So who knows then how many of the four star reviews were actually upgraded after the fact? Pretty scummy. So then that raises some questions like, who exactly is Bengu? According to their website, they were founded in 2014. Then again, they're pretty unethical, so who knows? And the G9000 Pro seems to be one of their flagship products. Uh, their mission is to offer customers reliable and affordable consumer electronics products. And they are apparently a young team, but then so was OnePlus. Remember when they definitely weren't owned by BBK and then they definitely admitted that they were? I don't know. There's not really much else about them here. They've got headsets, mice, speakers, uh, keyboards, and even a wireless PS4 controller, all at pretty attractive prices. So the company at least appears to be real and Aside from that one spicy nugget of dirt that we dug up, complaints in the reviews are mostly stuff we've seen before and mostly agree with, though some people might have overblown them a bit. Like some of you absolutely hated the dual cable design. Um, others had issues with the mic or the speakers not working properly. That's fair enough. Everyone can get a lemon once in a while. And several of you hated the build quality. Um, things like that they're too rigid, too tight, too small, etc. Though we saw some grousing about the mic that we thought might actually be user error with people pointing out that it seems to pick up the entire room. I mean, it didn't seem that bad to me. Uh, let's give it a shot here. I am talking right now into the microphone and uh, Ploof is working on cleaning the house or whatever. Maybe he's got a vacuum cleaner. Hey, there you go. Yeah, woo. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. I do think it's possible that Buddy accidentally had their laptop mic active or something like that. The two and the three star reviews are a lot more of the same, but mostly just from people who aren't quite as mad about them. There were some added complaints here though, about the cable getting wrecked and twisted over time, the poor quality of the ear cup cushions, and most importantly, an issue with hearing others talking during gameplay. This last one actually makes a fair bit of sense considering how bad the top end looks in our frequency response graph here. With that being said, most of the four and the five star reviews seem to indicate that people can hear clearly. So this could be a hint that the performance of the G9000 Pro varies a fair bit from one unit to the next. For those of you who are wondering, we purchased ours from Amazon, so it's not a golden sample or anything, but we did only buy one, so your mileage may vary. Moving into the high star reviews, what most of you seem to love about these things, aside from, of course, the incredible value, is the same stuff that we did. The volume control, the mic quality, the durable construction, the sound isolation, the cable quality, and the comfort. There are some patterns in the complaints here, like the ear cups are a little small and the quality could be better, but one user put it, I think, pretty well when they said, my seven-year-old doesn't know any better and doesn't need any better. Yeah, they are a little on the small side for some adult ears, that is unless you like on-ear headphones, but for younger gamers, I think it's fair to say that these are perfectly adequate, the pinnacle of mediocrity. Or are they? A lot of products are perpetually on sale to make them seem more premium, and the G9000 Pros are no exception. Thankfully, Bengu's own website has them listed for just 29. Thanks for nothing, Amazon, you deceptive 
And even on Amazon, you'll usually find them for anywhere between 26 and 22, which is what we paid. And at that price, man, I don't know, it's kind of tough. Like if you up your budget, you can pick up these GSP 300s from EPOS. Uh, these are currently just $32 and use considerably more premium materials than the G9000s. These ones don't really look it, but that's because they've been daily driven for about three years and the cups are finally starting to fall apart. But from the plastic to the cloth to the pleather, it's all a pretty significant upgrade for just $10 more. I mean, there's no cool blue LEDs, but instead you get volume adjustment on the side of the ear cup. The mute mic is on the flip down, so there's no need for your cable to look like it swallowed a Hot Wheels car. And the cups are significantly larger and they swivel a bit which could be quite a bit more comfortable depending on your ear size and placement. Meanwhile, if we go lower in price, meanwhile, if we go lower in price, it's honestly mostly just kind of junk. These Red Dragon H101s are straight up listed at 17 bucks, so there's no phony baloney regular price, credit to them for that, but while they will get the job done, they sound worse and feel even cheaper than our Bengu best seller. Super light, with a plastic only band and with all the same comfort concerns, but even more. So BenQ might not be the most reputable company, but at least you know that if you don't like them, you can probably just write a bad review on Amazon and get offered freebies or some sort of compensation. We'll have all these headsets listed down below. Bottom line then, BenQ, not bad, especially for the price. But if you can afford to save up a little bit more or you wanna treat yourself or someone you know to something significantly more premium, I would recommend grabbing the GSP 300s instead. They have a similarly great rating on Amazon and come from a much more reputable company. Like our sponsor. I buy direct. Show your eyes some love with a new pair of glasses. I've been looking for some myself recently. I buy direct offers a vast and affordable selection of glasses available right at your fingertips. Use their virtual try-on widget to get a preview of how you look with them. Select the try-on option on a pair of glasses, use your phone's camera or upload a picture of yourself, and begin experimenting with all of your favorite styles. iBuyDirect's products are trendy and affordable, but they also offer more premium brands for those who want something a little more eye-catching. If you stare at a screen all day, you might want to invest in a pair of blue light filtering glasses. You can reduce the symptoms of digital eye strain and make those unavoidable hours of screen time a little bit more comfortable. Take care of your eyes without having to break the bank. Visit lmg.gg slash iBuyDirect or visit the link down below and use code WELCOMEU for 30% off your first order over $45. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to check out some of the others in the series. We looked at a Red Dragon keyboard last year that actually really surprised us with its adequateness. 